Hey guys, in today's video, I want to share with you my most used and favorite products of 2017. These are all products that I've either purchased in 2017 and discovered for the first time or repurchased in 2017 because they were that amazing. And then at the end, I want to go through a couple of my December favorites because I didn't want to include them in my yearly favorites since I've only been using them for maybe a month or two. So as I'm looking at all of these things in front of me, there's one product that really, really stands out. It is the Stellar Limitless Foundation. One of the most reached for products in my stash, hands down. I am a foundation junkie. I feel like I've tried almost every foundation out there. It is not the most mattifying foundation. I, I have to say that. I definitely get shiny with the sky. However, it just, it never separates. It never balls up. It never fades off. It doesn't look brutal when my oily skin, you know, really starts coming through. It's just, it's just beautiful. If you have dry skin texture or just like uneven skin, like this is going to be your best friend. It never highlights my flakiness. It never highlights the texture that I have between my brows. It's just gorgeous. Absolutely one of the most underrated products on Sephora. By the way, I have SO1, which is a little bit too dark for me. I will say that they don't have a super, super pale shade, but if I mix it with something, you know, it works perfect. While we're on the topic of foundations, I also wanted to give a shout out to my Giorgio Armani Power Fabric. Even though I hands down use my Stellar Foundation way more, this one is just, it's so dependable. This is one of my most dependable foundations. If my skin is looking terrible, sometimes putting on foundation just makes it look even worse. I can always just depend on this foundation to make my skin look good and not accentuate the grabbiness. I have the shade uh, 2. I want to talk about this guy next because I actually want to uh, put it on right now and show you what it does. This is the ColourPop Lippy Sticks Primer. So this is literally a clear stick and it does something amazing to your lips. It literally just glides over all those fine lines and like if you have particularly like wrinkly lips or textured lips or really dry lips, you have to try this. Like, let's just get up close here. Okay, so here's my lips before. Now watch what this guy does. Do you see that? Just makes them look softer and fuller. Honestly, such a great product. ColourPop stuff is so affordable. If you can't get your hands on this one, another one that does the same thing. I don't love it as much, um, just because it slides around a bit, but it does the same thing. It's the Smashbox. Comes in a little black tube. I forget what it's called, but it basically makes your lipsticks look matte. So another thing for lips, and this is just kind of a general thing, I have been loving natural looking lips this year. I don't know what it is. Whenever I put on lipstick now, I just feel, I don't know, I feel overdone. So lately, one of my favorite things to do is just wear a very natural color lip liner. These are two of my most reach for lip liners. They're both by NYX. This one that I'm wearing right now is called Peekaboo Neutral. It's a little bit more peachy pink than my actual lips, but still a very natural color. The other one, which is a little bit more natural and neutral, is the NYX lip liner in literally the shade Natural. So this one is just like a little bit more cool toned than the one that I have on right now. But I just like to line my lips, fill them in a little bit, rub it around with my finger and then I'll apply my ColourPop primer on top and it just just gives me a very natural looking lip. So in 2017, I discovered a bunch of drugstore palettes and they're all like cheek palettes. So first of all, I've got these two from e.l.f. Such wins. These are so cheap and they are so good. This one is the bronzer palette and then I have the illuminating palette as well. From the illuminating palette, I really only use one shade. It's this light kind of vanilla color here. It is gorgeous. It is so soft. It is so pigmented and it's natural. It gives me just like the nicest natural highlight with just a very subtle sheen to it. I'm actually going to put a little bit of that on today since I have no highlight on. And I'm going to be using another product that I was just about to talk about. This is the e.l.f. highlighting brush. Totally recommend. It is big, but not too big. If you have pretty fair skin and you're looking for a good 
natural looking highlighter. This is the one. This is the e.l.f. bronzing palette. I just, it's honestly, it's such a good palette. These two are shimmers, these two are mattes, and when I mix it together, it just looks like the perfect subtle sheen natural glow and I just go to town with this on my face and the other palette is a highlighting palette also from the drugstore this is the NYX strobe of genius palette again there is one shade that I primarily use in this palette and it is this light champagne color here but all of these are so nice and the formula of these are spectacular they are just so soft so incredibly soft and there's just such a good range of shades in here. All of these are beautiful and they're metallic, but they're not insanely metallic. Like, I don't know. They're just like the perfect amount of pigment in my opinion. And the last highlighter that I want to mention is from MAC. This is the MAC Cream Color Base. So this is a cream formula, although it's not really creamy. It does feel like a more powdery cream but it just gives a really, really natural pale yellow gold glow. And whenever I'm doing a like no makeup makeup look, this is the one that I use because it still has a really nice highlight quality to it, but it's super natural. I've got two more bronzers here I wanna mention, and besides the e.l.f. palette, these two are probably the ones that I've used the most this year. This one is a CoverGirl bronzer. It's the Cheekers bronzer in the shade, I think it's, Copper Radiance, 102 Copper Radiance. And this is totally an underrated product. It is so gorgeous. If you like a natural sheen to your cheeks, this is the one to go for. It is a bit coppery, but on the skin, it just looks so natural and glowy. This could even work as a highlight if you have really deep skin and it would be so gorgeous. And this other bronzer is the Cover FX Sunkissed Bronzer. This is a very, very light color. So if you have fair skin, this would work really well for you. I have it on today, but I don't actually have very much on. Um, this is just a very natural bronzer. It's matte and it doesn't have a lot of pigment to it. It just gives my skin a little bit of color without looking like an obvious bronzer. This year was an interesting year for me in terms of powders. I typically have hated powders. Even though I have oily skin, my skin is textured. I tend to get little dry patches and powder always looks like powder on me. I can never get powder to look good except for when I discovered this guy. This one is by Stellar and it's in the shade Glow 01. I think this is their setting powder, just their regular setting powder. And this is a loose powder with, does have a little bit of pigment to it, but it's mostly translucent when it goes on the skin. Does not look like powder on my skin and it is one of the only powders I've ever found that does not look fake. I've got two Clinique skincare products that I wanna share. One is my Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. If you have oily or combo skin and you hate the way the moisturizers feel under all your makeup and you just don't wanna add more greasiness, you gotta give this a try. It immediately sinks into your skin, plumps it up, makes it look super soft and is totally dry to touch. I have raved about this for years. So I'm not gonna say any more other than if you haven't tried it, you need to try it. The other one is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I use this every single time that I hop in the shower to take off my makeup. I typically shower at night, so I usually have my makeup on. So I just take a little bit of this. It's like a pretty thick, balmy texture. Take a little bit of this on my fingers, rub it all over my face, and then hop in the shower, rinse it all off. My makeup is gone, my face feels clean, and it doesn't leave a thick like film on my skin like some other cleansing balms do. This is definitely one that I repurchased and will continue to purchase in uh, 2018 and beyond. And I have another Clinique product here. This is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Super Concealer. This is so underrated. Like why does no one talk about this? This is one of the most, I don't know what the word for it is, but it spreads so far. You literally need the absolute tiniest amount of this and it will just go forever. I have mine in the shade Very Fair 02, which is definitely fair enough for me. I find Clinique products often are just like too dark for really pale skin tones, but this concealer is light enough. It is amazing. It's moisturizing, yet it just has good coverage and it doesn't feel greasy. It's just, it's just great. It's just great. You have to try it. In 2017, I discovered this MAC Fix Plus. I know it sounds insane. I feel like it's been around for decades. 
I've just never gone for it. I've just, I didn't know what it really did. I thought, you know, by just seeing people use it and what they were using it for, I just felt like it was gonna be like, like silicone-y. It was gonna make my face feel greasy. And for someone with oily skin, that is the last thing that you want. But I picked up this little travel size and it is almost gone and I'm gonna buy the full size for sure. It is stickier than I thought it was gonna be. Like it actually feels like it's locking in your makeup as opposed to adding moisture to your skin. And that is what I love about it. I gotta hand it to these e.l.f. brow gels. Um, they're both the same thing. I just have one in the lighter shade and one in the darker shade. These are amazing. I don't know the exact name of it, but this is what they look like. And these bad boys will hold your brows in place literally all day. They will not budge. It is super, super strong gel in here. So if you're looking for a tinted brow gel that's not gonna cost you an arm and a leg, you gotta check out e.l.f. These are amazing. They actually make your brows look microbladed. And this is the last thing I wanna mention for my 2017 favorites. This is the CND Vinyl Lux Weekly Top Coat. This top coat is the best top coat that I've ever used. It actually does last for a week without chipping. Usually with like other top coats and nail polishes, like I got chips the next day after I paint them. Like it's basically useless. However, this is actually really long lasting. So if you're looking for a good top coat, I got this at the drugstore. It's still pretty expensive. I think I paid like 12 or $13 for it, but absolutely worth it. Okay, so now I'm on to my December favorites, things that I couldn't fairly put in the 2017 best products, but they're products that I have tried recently and I just want to give an honorable mention to since I won't be doing an actual December favorites video. First up, this Josie Marin, or Moran, I don't know. Surreal Skin Argan Finishing Balm. This is an excellent moisturizer. It is very thick. It actually does have a balm texture. However, it dries like velvet on your skin. It doesn't feel greasy. It doesn't stay thick, even though it is a very thick formula. The thing with Josie Marin products is I find people overlook them because I think their claim to fame is really all about argan oil and I think people especially with oily skin kind of shy away from things that have the word oil in it but it actually is not greasy at all and I've tried a lot of Josie Marin products lately and they don't feel greasy so if you are afraid of this brand I'm here to tell you don't be. Another Josie Marin product that I discovered more recently is this Argan Enlightenment Illuminizer basically a liquid highlighter slash primer. It is literally the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Like how gorgeous is that? And the best part about this is that it does not feel oily. It does not feel greasy and it actually like dries down. It doesn't stay like at all greasy. It sets. This next product is a face mask. This is the Sand and Sky Brilliant Skin Detoxify and Brightening Purifying Pink clay mask. Wow, that was a mouthful. This is something that is like hyped everywhere on Instagram. I am constantly being served ads and seeing people try those like pink Australian clay masks. This one is actually amazing. I did a whole video review on it with a pretty clear before and after. This brightened my skin and the best thing about it was that it made my skin feel softer and smoother and plumper than I've ever had my skin feel ever. This is definitely my most favorite face mask that I've ever tried. And even though I've only used it three times now, I'm gonna continue using it like once a week, probably for the rest of my life because it is so, so, so good. And the last thing I wanna mention for my December favorites is this Maybelline Total Temptation brow definer. I have mine in the shade medium brown and it does have a bit of a larger and flatter tip on it, kind of like the Anastasia brow definer. This is so good. It's what I have on my brows right now. It's all I have on my brows. My favorite thing about this is that I don't have to press very hard to get color. It's just very soft looking, it's very natural looking, and it gives the perfect amount of pigment. That wraps up my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope that this might inspire you to try some new products in the new year. And I just wanna say thank you to you guys. Like it's been an amazing year. My channel has grown so much and I'm just gonna keep getting better in 2018. So thank you guys so much for watching. As usual, I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye.